Welcome back Filmolics, my name is Kyle Kerrick and in this channel you find anything and everything filmmaking. So I have to explain something before we get started on today's video and that's going to be the fact that I was gone for two weeks and it was basically just a vacation and going to my girlfriend's brother's wedding and that was really fun. Also I got my second dose and that, that just like that knocked me out basically for two days. It was pretty bad. But now we're back and let's get started on today's video. We're gonna be reviewing the Geekato tripod. And that's basically their own, there's not really a model name for it, but that's what it's called. So let's go ahead and do that. So this review is gonna be divided in threes. One is gonna be price and then the specs. And then lastly, who is this tripod for? But before we get started on that, consider subscribing if you want more filmmaking content. But let's go ahead and get started on the price. So the cost of this tripod is going to be $119. And if you have Amazon Prime, it also has $10 off on that. So technically it's also $109. And now let's go ahead and talk specs. So first off, what it comes with. It comes with a carrying case and the tripod. That's, that's it. <laughs> and now for size, because size does matter. Let's move on. So basically, we're gonna talk about the minimum and maximum height. So the minimum height without the ball head is going to be 19 inches. And then with the ball head, it's gonna be 24.5 inches. Now, if you fully extend it with the ball head, that's going to be 75 inches. Now another feature that it comes with that involves size is the fact that you can remove one of the legs to become a monopod. So for this, the size is going to be 21.3 in minimum length and then the maximum length is going to be 79 inches. And now let's talk about the ball head and the neck. So both of these can bend down into a 90 degree angle, so that's pretty good. And then you can also rotate them into a 360, which makes it perfect for an overhead setup for photography or an overhead content unboxing type of thing. Now that we're done with the specs, let's go ahead and talk about who is this tripod for or Kyle's conclusions on the item. So basically to start things off, this is great for hiking, traveling and outdoors in general due to the fact that it's lightweight and also the monopod accessibility. But another thing to mention is that it's also great for indoor environments. That's due to its mobility and its overhead capabilities. Now knowing this and adding both of these up gives you a versatile tripod that can do anything that you ask from it. So if you're somebody who loves to go outdoors or does outdoor photography or does just anything outdoors and you wanna film it, take photos of it, then this is great for you. But if you're also someone who wants to do indoor content, then this is also great for you. Or if you're just somebody who likes to do both like me, then again, this is great for you. And if you are like me or just somebody who likes to go outdoors and travel and take photos and film, or if you're vice versa wanting to do that indoors, then this is a tripod for you and consider the links down below. It's gonna be a no extra cost to you guys if you guys do end up purchasing, but it does help out the channel and help us grow over here. And also, if you guys want to check out more of my reviews, go ahead and check right up somewhere up here on one of the playlists for all my reviews. And lastly, don't forget to dream on. 